All right, guys, we are down in the Keys and we are going after hogs. Now, not the hog you're thinking of, we're going after hogfish. Uh, we put on our scuba tanks. We did a little bit of free diving, but most of it was scuba in our case. Generally speaking, we were diving in about 25 feet of water. You don't have to go incredibly deep, and you really don't even need scuba gear. Uh, we did, but you know, it's, it's our prerogative, I guess. But the hogfish, they can be an interesting creature to look at because they're, they're like the chameleons of the sea. They can camouflage really well. Um, they will blend in with the reef structure that they are around and it won't be until you're like right on top of them that you'll see them and at that point they're just taking off. Um, generally hogfish like to hang around. They like to hang around reefs but oftentimes you won't see them on the actual reef but kind of on the sandy bottom just to the side of it. So a lot of times what we would do is when we were hunting for the hogfish, we would circle the outskirts of the coral or the, sh the big reef structure we were at and kind of watch. And the hogfish seemed to be pretty curious creatures because they'd almost swim up to us to see what was going on. And when they did, you know, we'd shoot them. And we got several that way. So when you're going for hogfish, we use spear guns. Now you can use pole spears too. Uh, we've had some success with that in the past. Uh, but one of the tricks to shooting hogfish and shooting anything is shot placement. Uh, when you're shooting at the hogfish, if you get a bad shot, they could pull loose and go swim off in a hole somewhere. Then they're gone. They're probably going to bleed out as fish go, and then it's wasted meat. So you don't really want to do that. Generally, you want to shoot headshots. Either shoot directly for the gills. Um, or shoot for the face. Some of the best times that we've noticed for hunting hogfish are right at sunrise and right at sunset. Um, even at night, sometimes it seems like the hogfish are a little more curious. And so if you are up for some night diving, you have a good strong flashlight, by all means, it's worked pretty well for us. Be sure to check your local fishing regulations for uh, size limits and bag limits on the hogfish. Um, but otherwise, you know, go have fun. If you enjoyed this video, uh, like it. Feel free to share it too, that'd be great. Also, if you'd like to see some of our other videos, feel free to click some of the links that will be popping up shortly.